Hey, we all have problems with bugs and spiders and other creepy crawlies that try to get into our house. Who doesn't? Stay tuned, I'm going to show you a natural organic concoction that I found that I'm going to be spreading around the foundation of some houses. Hey folks, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Um, I'm over here at Acorn Acres and I'm going to be spreading some uh, pesticide powder. Uh, this is natural organic stuff that like uh, borax is mined right out of the soils of the earth. My brother-in-law and sister-in-law used to live in Daggett. They owned a home right next door to the stables where that tended the, that 20 mule team. And currently it is a, uh, it's a museum. So it's got all the artifacts from the 20 mule team uh, th um, uh, train. When they mined the borax up in Boron, California in the Mojave Desert, they would take it down, load it on the train cars there in Daggett, California. And uh, they live right next door to it. But anyway, yeah, I got a little history on this stuff. That's all it is. You can't get any more natural than that. Another natural product is diatomaceous earth. What is diatomaceous earth? Well, diatomaceous earth are little microscopic diatoms. They're, they're like a, 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 a plankton that floats around in the water. And when the plankton grows as it's growing, it's reaching out and it's grabbing minerals from the environment that is suspended in the water around it. You'll find them in most bodies of water like the ocean and lakes. Uh, there's a place in my region called Copco Lake and the sand beach, it's nothing but diatomaceous earth. There's two grades of diatomaceous earth. You can get the food grade, which is great for your uh, garden. Uh, or your animals and uh, dust baths for your chickens because the chickens like to use it to help control mites uh, that get down in their feathers. So this is great for spreading around your nesting boxes. And then the non-food grade is what you spread around your garden. What happens is uh, slugs and snails crawl across it and because of the nature of the, the dead diatoms, uh, they start, uh, the, it scratches them and scars them up and when bugs crawl across it, it scratches off their little wax coating on their exoskeleton and they ended up dehydrating. Another product I got here was boric acid. It's a market in a roach powder. And boric acid, again, is another natural product. So I'm just going to blend all these three together. I guess when the roaches eat this, it causes them to burst inside. Yeah. <laughs> their little intestines kind of puff up and burst. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and mix these three together in these ratios in this five gallon bucket. And I'm going to get to work and start spreading this around the foundations of each house. When you're working with these powders, especially diatomaceous earth, be sure you wear a proper covering. You do not want this stuff in your lungs at all. This is, this is, uh, it scars. So keep it out of your lungs. I'm going to mix it up. Now, any bug that crawls on me, it's dead. Let's go get this spread.
So this five gallon bucket was more than enough. I still have that much left so I can go put it around my dwelling. So actually it's enough to uh, cover four dwellings around the perimeter of your foundation to get rid of and keep bugs out of the house. These are the creepy crawlies. You can't do much about the creatures that fly in like moths and stuff. But as far as ants go, cockroaches, uh, as a matter of fact, the boric acid has an attractant in it for cockroaches to eat it and then it'll kill them. So hopefully it'll eliminate the cockroaches. Even if they're in your house, it'll draw them out. Uh, earwigs and all the other creepy colonies you don't like in your house. All right, and it's also great for the garden. Yeah, it kills snails and slugs. I mean, diatomaceous earth alone is great for the garden. Uh, I'm your host, Jerry Hansen from Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm here at Acorn Acres in front of a barn I built some 30 years ago, I think. Uh, please stay tuned to more videos. You could do that by subscribing. Giving me a thumbs up really helps out the channel. Click that bell icon that will alert you to new videos as I upload them. Also, if you uh, share my videos by clicking that share button and sharing them on your social media platforms really helps out the channel a lot. Hey, I want you guys to please be safe and please be kind. We'll see you guys in new adventures coming up. Bye-bye.